All right, so how to change the O-ring that is behind the DIN wheel. So what you're gonna need is a size six Allen key, pop it into the DIN fitting, and then rotate it lefty-loosey. It may take a little bit of effort to remove that. You then need to pull out the size 11 O-ring, which may already be popped out in your case. And then we'll have that filter down, put in another size 11 O-ring. You then want to spin this on, but upside down so that that O-ring doesn't fall out of place. And I'm just going to get it hand tight. And then you can go ahead and torque it up. Ready, tighty. I'll put the torque spec in the description. And then the last thing is if you need to replace your DIN face O-ring, that's a 111. Pop in a new DIN face O-ring. And that's all you gotta do.